We're going to talk about NFTs, which are non-fungible tokens. And Sarah J has jumped on this latest electronic trend, and it is it is being talked about a lot now. I'm kind of looking at it and maybe getting into it. So Sarah, can you explain to our audience what NFTs are and specifically what it is that you are selling online? Yep. I will do my best. It's um, Sometimes it's a challenge to wrap your mind around something that's not tangible, but um, an NFT, non-fungible token, as you said, um, is generally a piece of art or uh, often like a video, a GIF, um, a clip, um, some sort of photo, um, often animated in some kind of way. And it's digital art that can only um, be viewed digitally. Uh, you can't hold it, touch it. Um, but with that piece of art, uh, you can sell it as um, you know, one of one, or you can duplicate it and sell it to numerous people, and it'll go up for auction on a marketplace. And um, it creates a ledger where uh, the people's name is attached to the NFT. So. Um, Part of the NFT is also the people who own the NFT previously, which is kind of cool. Um, and yeah, it's like an auction. You use um, Ether, which is on the Ethereum network, to uh, purchase it. So you just go over to your wallet. You switch out some dollars for some Ether. You go over to my NFT link, and uh, you bid on the NFT. And then um, a lot of NFTs will come with some sort of experience with it, whether it's um, a physical experience or uh, tangible experience, you know, like I, because NFT not being tangible and it is challenging for a lot of people to like wrap their mind around. Some NFTs are now coming with some sort of tangible thing. Like my NFT comes with a t-shirt that uh, I'm signing. So um, not only do you get the one of one NFT called Liberty's Retribution, but you also get a signed t-shirt. Yeah. So I guess what they are instituting into is like a blockchain. I think they call it a blockchain, which is essentially like a digital signature so that, yeah, it, there's track of when it transfers ownership and it, and it verifies that it's really like a one of one piece. Mm -hmm. And it is a hard thing to wrap your head around because, you know, it is an untangible product and it's like, well, I could just see it online anyways, but it's like, yeah, but you don't like own it. So right. it's interesting to see like where this is going to go, but you know, some yeah. things have been auctioned for like enormous amounts of money. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> it and, is. um, and I think it's also interesting too, that you can only buy it with cryptocurrency, which I think mm -hmm. is also like another, um, kind of peek into our future of, of currency and how, how yeah. that's going to work. And, you know, cryptocurrency is great in a way that it's not like tied to the government. Um, and I think it's especially something that will be helpful for the adult industry because, you know, we run into so many problems with Visa, MasterCard processing, um, with, you know, the government stigma and the government, yep. um, creating so many problems for us. But I kind of, so I was, I've been thinking about like NFTs a lot and I'm thinking about, okay, you know, if you have a piece of art, you would want to like hang it in your house, right? So for people to see. And so I'm kind of envisioning this future where, you know, you have these really rich art collectors who maybe, you know, have several houses all over the world. Yeah. And I feel like there, there's going to be some kind, maybe it exists already, but some kind it of does. like electronic frame. It already exists. It uh, already okay. Exists. Right. I, yeah, yeah. I'm I not original. To, um, I just went to the Bitcoin convention here in Miami this week. It was like the largest Bitcoin convention in the world. And they had an NFT um, show, show area. And um, not only did they have like basically like mo TV monitors, kind of like a big digital frame showing the NFTs. But um, after getting some education while I was there, they make monitors for NFTs now where like if you are a collector, you really only need one frame and then mm -hmm. it'll cycle through your NFTs. So let's say mm -hmm. you connect that one frame to your um, your NFT collection that's online and then it'll just cycle through them so you can see them always. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. 
And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.